Hello friends, today in this video I am going to explain about Google Place data safety section. If you are an Android developer and you have uploaded your apps on Google Play Store, by now you would have received an email to complete your data safety form by July 20th, 2022. First of all, what is data safety form? As an Android developer or application developer, you have rights to create a new and innovative apps, but how secure your app for the end user to download and use your app? Is your app collecting any personal or device info of users? If yes, why you are collecting that info? Is it encrypted? For what purpose you are using that info? And are you transferring that info to any other person or any other company or to any other app? All these questions are addressed in this form. And you need to answer them which makes users more informed choices when deciding which apps to install from Google Play Store. I have some of my apps uploaded on Google Play Store. So I have received this email in last week to complete data safety form for all my applications. This is the summary of an email. You have not yet submitted your data safety form. As a result, users see no information available in your app's data safety section on Google Play. So data safety form must be submitted and approved by July 20. Otherwise, your app updates will be rejected. And you must also include a privacy policy. Previously, this privacy policy was not mandatory for all apps. Only for kids apps or if your app is asking some extra permissions from user, then you have to fill privacy policy. But now it is mandatory to include privacy policy to submit data safety. And if you don't fill them according to the guidelines, your app will be removed from Google Play's store listing. Okay, when you come down in the email, in action required section, it says you can find this form at app content in Google Play console. Click on this app content link it takes you to your Google Play's developer console site. If you have already logged in, it shows your developer account. Click on your developer account. It will show you all Play Store apps that you have published. Select any app. It opens app content page. Here if you see, there are some to-do tasks and some completed tasks. So I have completed all these tasks and they are in submitted state. But data safety is not started state and you can open this app content page from policy tab. After you log in and on selecting any app in your play console account, in left side menu window, you have app content option under policy section. Okay, now before updating data safety section, let me show you how does my app looks like in play store if I don't submit data safety form. Search for ingredients translator. See here under data safety section, it shows no information available. But let me show you my another app for which I have completed data safety section. Tell note, this is Telugu voice notes application. For this, see under data safety section, it is showing some information. It says no data shared with third parties, no data collected. So let's update data safety section for this application. Come back to Google Play console site, click on start under data safety section. Here in the overview page, it says before you start, read the following information about the questions you will be asked and the information you will need to provide. So what type of questions are asked? You will be asked whether your app collects or shares any of the required user data types. What are those required data types? You can view here. So these are the data types. Location. If your app is asking for GPS permission and collecting user's location or personal info. If your app is like social media or any shopping type app and uh, or any login app and you are collecting user's personal details like name, email ID, phone number, etc. Or if you are asking for user's financial info like credit card details or payment info. Um, then or else uh, or your app is targeting health benefits and you are asking for users health info or if it is chatting app or dating app and you need to send user emails and sms or chat messages or if your app um, is like a photo or a video edit app 
so you are asking for users photos and videos to access from your application or if your app is music app and you want to access music files or audio files from users device or if your app is uh, accessing users calendar events or contacts or other apps info from the device or any other sensitive info like IMEA number or MAC address all these are different data types which you may access from your app if you are collecting the above info from user through your application for what purpose you are using that info also you need to provide so see here some of the purposes along with examples they have mentioned if you are using all those collected data for app functionality or for analytics or to send users some notifications or emails or for your own advertisement purpose or to prevent the fraud and improve security to your customers or to personalize your app with more recommended content or to manage users account securely in your database one of these purposes you need to mention in the form so let's come back to play console click next to start the questionnaire the first question is does your app collect or share any of the required user data types my app is uh, ingredient translator app this is a simple offline application it shows all the kitchen ingredients in different languages based on your language selection you can view the ingredient uh, in that language so you can check it out in uh, uh, google play store if you are interested and you can download also so here i am not collecting any of user data so i say no to this question if you say yes there are other questions related to that which you need to answer but for now i say no i will show you what happens if you say yes at the end of this video click on next this is the preview page so this is how it displays for your app in the data safety section in play store because i already defined my privacy policy i will click on save so my data safety form is submitted come back it says submitted but this won't reflect immediately in the play store it takes some time for the team to verify it may be 2 hours or 7 days also we don't know but once it is approved you receive an email for this developer's gmail id for my app it is updated within 2 hours see data safety section for ingredient translator it got updated this form may differ based on the app type for example i published a kids app that is abc teacher let's update app content for this app go to policy app content click on data safety start click next same question is asked about collecting and sharing any of the user data types but my app is kids learning app here they they can learn english upper case and lower case letters and they can practice them and some interaction games are there for kids to test their learning skills so here i don't ask for any personal data from kids i select no option but see here there is another question about google play family policy because my app is targeted below 13 years age group i have to follow play family policy so there i say yes because my app committed to follow the family play family policy and click on next see in this preview page there is one more section got added for security practices because this is kids app other sections are same no data collected and shared to third parties so click on save i have submitted data safety for this app also but this is not reflected even after 2 days in the play store and in my google play developer console account it still shows in review i said earlier that i will explain how to fill the form if you are collecting user data let's see that with my another app this is telugu calendar application for this i haven't updated the privacy policy also so start the data safety questionnaire click on next now here select s yes. if your app is collecting or sharing any of user data types even though my app is not collecting any user data i am selecting s yes just to show you procedure in such case see there are two more questions appeared on selecting s yes. for the next question if you are encrypting the collected user data in your application select s yes or select no and if you are providing an option to 
delete the user data from the application, select yes to this question or select no. Now click on next. In this page, you must select the data types that are collected or shared from your application. All these data types I have already explained. So check them and select which data your app is collecting from user through your application. For example, I am selecting email ID and phone number here. You can select based on your app functionality. Then after selection, click on next. Here you need to mention how this data is used and handled. For email address, select the arrow mark. Here if you are taking this info for temporary purpose means it is used internally and will be removed after some time automatically or on user action. Then you can say collected. Or if this data is shared to other third parties, you have to select shared. So here I selected the option collected. Uh, the next question is, is this data processed ephemerally? Means if you are storing this data in device internal memory and you are deleting after the usage or on closing the application, then you can say yes for this question. Otherwise, no. And the next question is, is this data required for your app or can user choose whether it's collected? If the collected data is required for your application, that means this is a mandatory field which must which must enter in order to use the application. Then select first option that is data collection is required or else if user can skip that particular step to collect data, you can select second option. When you come to the next one, this is related to the purpose of collecting user data. This is also I already discussed. So you can read uh, those examples carefully and answer why is this user data collected. If everything done, click on save. So repeat the same thing for all the data types. Select phone number type and answer questions and select save. So we came to the end of the data safety section that is preview page. But here I am unable to save my details because privacy policy is not updated. As I said earlier, privacy policy is mandatory now for all the applications to complete the data safety. This one I will explain in my next video, how to create privacy policy page and how to update the policy URL in Play Console. Hope this video was helpful for you to complete the data safety form for your Android applications in Google Play Developer Console. Please subscribe to my iRecatech solutions for more useful videos.